A lot of people on the internet complaining or pointing at others and saying, this guy's natural and that guy's not natural. And I'm here to tell you, none of you are natural. Absolutely nobody. And here's why. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering. I speak on all things physical medicine, sometimes sports performance, a lot of athletics. And what I really try and focus on is helping out individuals who do not respond well to standard approaches to fitness, which is almost everybody. I think fitness really caters to the genetic outliers and doesn't provide much for the rest of us. That's where I come in. So today I want to talk about more philosophy than necessarily science. You see a lot of people on the internet complaining or pointing at others and saying this guy's natural and that guy's not natural. And I'm here to tell you none of you are natural. Absolutely nobody. And here's why. Do you use light bulbs in your house? Well, if so, you're altering your circadian rhythm. But it's okay because we can correct that by having caffeine in the morning. So that's not natural. I mean, unless you live in a place where coffee beans grow, which I'm guessing you don't. So I'll take it to the more obvious reality when somebody's not natural. The implication is this individual is using anabolic chemicals to enhance muscularity, low body fat, whatever. And yeah, obviously when you look at somebody uh, you know, like Ronnie Coleman, okay, so he was, I might get his stats wrong, but I think like 5'10 and on stage, maybe 300 pounds or something like that. Not natural and pretty, pretty apparent, though his first bodybuilding show, he was natural, or at least I believe him when he, when he talks about that. But the entire conversation, I, I just find sort of funny because there's many shades in the middle that we're even aware of. Like, I have testosterone replacement therapy. I was prescribed that because I got in a bad rugby hit years and years ago before I turned 30 and that destroyed one testicle and damaged the other one. So like I was told if I didn't get on TRT, I might have a cardiac event in my thirties. So like, wait, testosterone is improves the health of your heart. If you have low testosterone, I didn't know that at the time. So I think there's a gray area that most of us are in. And I think other than just sort of the jealous guy saying, oh, you know, somebody's, he does this and he's going to die at 40 or whatever. Here's a, a study that you need to know about. Turns out that uh, statistically, people who use cycles of anabolic steroids live longer than people who eat a standard American diet. You heard that right. Now, what else do we know about people who take anabolic steroids? Well, their nutrition's probably pretty good. Otherwise, they're not going to get results. They also exercise, which is really healthy also. The two greatest drivers of long life are high levels of strength and low levels of body fat. So the natural versus not natural, now I'm not recommending doing cycles of steroids. It's a bad idea because there are negative health implications. But also, don't make natural versus not natural the only thing you focus on just because I, I think it's just a waste of time and it's a, just a stupid conversation. Here's another great example. Before Ozempic came out, I knew a lot of people who had dropped 100 plus pounds. And boy, was I proud of them and I told them they were great. It's very difficult to do and I acknowledge their achievement. Now that that peptide has been released for wide usage, I call it a peptide, not a drug, by the way. It's like if somebody lost 100 pounds using Ozempic or a GLP agonist, and then they figured out a way to get off it. This is what Lizzo did. I'm not, I'm not a fan at all, but I kind of respect what she said because what happened is she got on it. It forced her to clean up her diet, built better habits. She went off of it and kept the better habits. So... Now she says because she doesn't eat carbohydrates, she doesn't feel hungry anymore. So she still has the benefit of Ozambic, but it's caused by her improved nutrition. So I think that's 
incredibly interesting and also like you're not going to shame somebody for losing weight with a GLP agonist if they got off it like you would I don't know a steroid user I don't know I don't shame anybody so it's very difficult for me to determine and also I think a lot of the shaming that goes on is really just jealousy driven but I just don't think there is a good enough definition of what natural is or what natural is not. What you're really just seeing is people who have not achieved going insane because they have not achieved. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm going to put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're going to help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.